it's sports poster time. Now, obviously, NBA is get, be, uh, it's a thing right now, and I just felt like let's do a sports poster. I don't know who is your favorite team in the comments below. Let me know. I don't really watch sports like that. I watch esports but i appreciate it. i always watch the finals or like i always watch the world cup and i always watch like any popular thing ever on sports because maybe i'm just like a bandwagoner who knows one thing i want to say is do not forget to check out the everything pack if you guys do not know what it is all 28 of my custom made products that you get on that one purchase plus all future products free that also includes the three products i'm dropping and two of them actually use in this video but it's one of those things it's like when you have it you realize it's probably the best thing you ever bought in your entire life and that's no bias that's just like you know, a few hundred people telling me that. But if you've been thinking about it, you've been eyeballing it, trust me, you pull the trigger and I promise you, you're gonna love every second of it. But anyway, let's go and hop into the video and start this thing that I like. I'm looking at it right now, but I had no idea what was going here. So here's the deal, right? I usually don't know what I'm gonna really do, but I do have my set of mood boards right in front of me to figure out, you know, kind of an idea of like what I like. So what I do like from these guys here. So one thing I actually enjoyed was like the, 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 the scenery here. It felt kind of dope. I like the kind of way they lay out like a versus thing i'm not really doing something like that but like the color correction here the vibe the motion like this like faded thing that just looked dope don't know if i'll do it but it looked dope the second thing i really enjoyed was this one right here this composition itself felt like we were playing with a lot of objects like these cards the actual like balls that just kind of felt like in front of their face and didn't get really lost and all that good stuff and you know he's kind of standing in this like different um court of some sort where we kind of mess with the court floor this right here i really enjoyed the gradient i enjoyed the kind of way it's laid out i enjoyed like the double exposure bit in, in the background that kind of feels like something i'm gonna definitely try and on the, on the the last one i just really enjoyed the texture i want to i want to try one where like I, I really try to do like any texture with like grunginess but i don't know if i'll actually end up doing it because i'm not like a grungy textury guy i'm like a type texture clean typography yada yada kind of guy but you know that's why i do these videos to kind of learn a little bit so uh let's just hop into it sit back relax and watch nothing happen for the next 10 minutes but it'll make sense soon right first things first i do have my photos too i have some photos i didn't cut them out dang it and just for the record if you guys were avid google image search sizers you know what I mean? If you go to size and you search by like four megapixels or like 20 megapixels, that plugin broke as of this video, but I made it over again and it's right here and it's free, of course, because I love you guys. I literally made it myself. I learned some coding. What can I say? And it's just a button and then you click and then it's just like, boom, you're good. You're 20 megapixels back. You're welcome. Now I'm trying to put some of these things together. Now, the reason why I chose these photos is I just felt like I just wanted something to kind of have like the three stack in some kind of way. Something like this, it kind of felt different. I, I mean, usually you want to have like the biggest one in the back and then kind of wants to get smaller in the front, but maybe there's a world where that's not the case. This to me seems kind of cool. So composition is the hardest part here. What if actually we did, this is like a ball, right? obviously but I, I reason why i kind of kept this image I, I enjoyed the intensity i enjoyed where the ball was but then i thought imagine this right he's sitting on the ball now i don't know the quality of this photo is honest it's honestly so bad i don't really like it okay and he's on top of the ball and he's like something like this is this cool like in retrospect i think it's pretty cool but the question then lies is does this work i don't think it works is there something else that i can do like this kind of tough this would change my entire composition but like a thought process is like maybe if it's like this right his line the way he's kind of stretched is it's kind of acting as if it's like a cut uh like another canvas in a way like kind of like cutting it from here so if this is like really big here something like this and then all these other photos were here and these were like gradients it would kind of leave the background actually feel like something like put in the canvas uh, no, is that smart it could work but is it what i want now that i'm thinking about it maybe i just i should just go for it because you know maybe this is like a little lesson you know go for your first thought don't do that now i think the most important part here is kind of how we set up the uh the like the rest of the supporting frame right because if this is going to be something like this i want it to make sure it fills the space i want to make sure of course whatever's going to happen down after this cut is not going to you're not going to see it right the idea is that everything right here you're not going to be able to see it. it's just only focusing on this gives us room to put his name like maybe like over here logos over here maybe like a city skyline i don't know but something can happen and maybe it can work right i think this is the composition then the nba logo is going to come in okay this will kind of sit here as a nice little texture this is something like that can go like down here it can be a little bigger it could even be 3d maybe is that weird like 3d clothes oh 
Oh, every time. Look at me. You're just cooking in my head. Look at me go. Let's also go ahead and put his name in here. We can use like a dope font. Let's just go with my sports fonts. We might have to do like Jason, like, and then Tatum is like, do I have like any sketches? I got to make a sketch folder. I'm overthinking it because I, I don't even know what the background is yet. The background's got to be green. My first time ever working with green, probably ever. I kind of just want to see what's possible with this color scheme itself. Like, I'm not, I'm not too sure like how I want the background to be. Look, I'm not gonna lie, I just found this one. I think this background might feel a little bit better. Like I just found it on Pinterest. I just kind of wanted to see what like the best looking background for the Celtics could look. And I, I found this one and I'm I'm gonna copy it a little bit, you know, like an artist. Let's get a color correction on this poster uh, photo first. This will just be the initial color correction. It's gonna do a little texture per usual, the same stuff, not gonna go too crazy. I even wanna do some kind of like actual color grading, like a little bit of like an undertone green since it's already gonna be a thing. Cause I feel like if I could keep it this tone, it's not gonna really work out, right? So I'm gonna go something like this. Let's go mid tones. See if any of these could work as well. I'm thinking the gold could be kind of nice. I mean, it definitely helps kind of ground it, right? Like without the color correction, just looks just not, it's just not it. Now, the most important part of this though is gonna be what I actually do for this. Like the color correction on these three things are gonna be pretty, pretty much the same, right? It's gonna be something like this, okay? Follow me for a second. It might have some kind of gradient like this, like a simple grayish or same kind of bluish undertone. The skin texture of it needs to be pretty heavy. Like we're talking a lot of texture and a lot of clarity. Like I'm gonna take the highlights and put this down to make sure like I can prominently see like his shoulder bone, you see how it's kind of like really, if it's a little loss, I lower this and you can kind of really see the detail in there. That looks pretty good like that. Okay, now select color range, highlights, lower this down a lot. Now I'll just go ahead and use a levels or highlights or curves. Let's just go with like, let's go with levels. Throw the gradient back on, take the levels themselves, and really try to mess around with the actual highlights being pretty out there. Now, maybe this, I need to also bring this in for a second and make another higher tone so I can actually get more highlights. Okay, so what I'll actually end up doing now is kind of going back in and kind of just painting in where the highlights are with like a nice opacity brush. From that, the highlights are pretty good. I'm gonna reselect this photo though, go back into select color range and then do shadows this time and then do the same thing with the shadows. I might put the range up just a little bit more. Okay, something like that could work. Let me just group this together for a second, make a quick little duplicate and just kind of quickly see if I were to put this into camera Raw filter again. And then just, you know, put this sharpen up a little bit, go back to the effects, put this little texture up, clarity up. Do I get what I want out of this? And kind of, it's not fantastic, but just the thought if they were all like this and would it still work? I mean, it could still work. Let's just try all the other stuff really quick. So this is a pretty great place to be. Where do we go now? Does there need to be any like kind of light coming from like behind here? Should there be like a green light? Something like this instead. So turn it on and off. I mean, it kind of helps. It kind of it kind of works in like separating them, adding the green to the uh, the color correction itself or the, the the gradient. But again, don't know if it's enough. Let's try something like this. Let's try to bring this up a little bit and let's click like something like right here a little bit. Now use Linear Dodge Add, and that's also doing something. Adding a little light separation is kind of working in our favor here for sure. Do I actually want to do some like four leaf, three leaf clover, like whatever, like 3D something? Fine, I'll open up Blender to figure it out. Okay, now that we got our clove inside, we can go ahead and click on it. Go ahead and just do a nice little right click set to the geometry origin, and now we're good to actually move this guy. So we're gonna give this a nice little 90 degree turn. Uh, and this guy also nice little turn. Here we go. And then I'll go to our spline over here, extrude. And now we're gonna extrude this a little bit. And then we're gonna give this a really cool little look. We're gonna select on the object, go to object, go to where it says convert and then mesh. And then we're gonna go to our uh, add modifiers. Let's go ahead and add a nice little remesh and let's do it on smooth. Let's go to about nine or so. And then we're gonna remove the disconnected. Then let's make sure we apply. Then we're gonna add one more on add a modifier then go to where it says smooth corrector. Is it this one, right? Then we're gonna go to our factor, put on one, repeat at 100 and then put it on only smooth. And now when we look at it, we got a nice little, just little curvature to it. I think it just looks a little bit better. Now to actually make this little chrome effect that I wanna do work, I'm gonna actually use a different kind of color background. So I think this green will be kind of cool or maybe even this one could be kind of nice, right? Open it up and now we got ourselves a nice little green. And in my opinion, I think that's pretty good. We'll reset this camera real quick. 
and I'm just gonna say that's that's gonna be gonna be rendered out, I think. And now what I'll do is I'll take a few of them, bring them inside, and see what I can do. So I think first things first, I need to fill this space over here because it is incredibly empty and kind of annoying how empty it is. Now I'm wondering if I need to change the color of these things though. I think I might want to change the color. Now, if I'm pretty honest, there's I'm not entirely sure where this is going but it's going somewhere. Like, I don't know if that greenish tone that I had previously was working, and I don't want it to feel like too, like, St. Patrick's-y either. How do I defeat that? So in my opinion, there's a few different ways. Like, one way could be like, do I need to just actually fill some of this background space a little bit with just like our usual kind of gradient and like taking the same color as the background, kind of using that as my starting point to kind of add in some depth. Now I'm feeling like this like greenish tone that I was going for. A bluish tone needs to be definitely more green though, right? So let's put this, make sure there's more green. The same thing with the bottom one. And I think that does instantly make it look a little, like a little better, but I don't know if it's still not there yet. Hold on. Like, I'm not sure if all of these themselves need their own individual glow. Something like this could be kind of sick. And now since those have their own glow, do I, should I, right, come in over here and do my little dancey dance with the lights over here, add a nice little rim light just at the edge of the actual person, add another one over here, make this a little bit more darker. Don't go too far out though yet. And then we'll add another one, make it the darkest. And then we'll change this blend mode to like linear dodge add and make it a pretty big brush with like a lower opacity and just kind of click and hover and get as much color as possible on them without making it look too bad. And like, like right here is, pretty bad. Now let's do the same thing to all the other ones. And I think I'm going to start off with this one right here. Now, in my opinion, that's pretty decent. I want to actually use this like goldish tone that's happening inside of here. What could it be? And it could honestly, now that I'm thinking about it out loud, it could just be as simple as like the type texture itself is gold, right? And I think everyone knows it's sponsored by Nike. Let's, let's go ahead and put the Nike logo in. Let's go ahead and also add in like a nice, I might have to use like, I don't like anybody for this. Let's go for anybody. And I'll go ahead and just do like National Basketball Association just kind of spelling things out, just adding some texture that kind of feels in somewhat way uh, relevant. Anybody might be too, not probably it. Let's probably go for something else. Let's go for like, honestly, Clash is pretty good for this. I might go for Clash on this. We'll also just do like NBA, Boston Celtics. I honestly think it's pretty decent. Let's go ahead and say this one is like, I don't have a script font in my font shelf, but I'm gonna say, let's go ahead and quickly try to find one but we'll do like that i'll go ahead and make sure i got a, a nice little goldish tone for that another part of me is realizing that i also haven't like fully color corrected this guy so let's go ahead and take it and add in some shadows just right where the shadows should be nothing too crazy right just adding a little bit of shadows on this i can add some highlights too okay now with all those adjustments if i kind of turn them on and off boom 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 hey, that's pretty good I'll take it. I think it's a little much on his nose though. I think before I call it wraps on all this stuff that I did over here, so this is like one of them. I wanna take every last one of these, duplicate them. And what I'll do with these duplicates is just add in, let's go to camera off filter again. We'll use a little bit of detail, not that much clarity, but definitely some texture. And I'm actually gonna add in some grain, lower the size down a little bit and the roughness to be a little bit higher. And that should give me a little bit more texture on my homies, just like so to kind of pop them out some more. And I'll just go ahead and do is I'll just add it to the same thing for all the other ones. Ah, the grain might be a little much, actually. I might, let's go back and do, let's do no grain. And because I said I'm gonna add in some texture, because I, I feel like I don't add a much texture to my backgrounds, and I feel like there's something I can do here for this one. I don't know if I wanna put on the foreground or the background. Let's just see what happens if I put on the foreground first. I can probably find a nice balance here too. For the record, these textures that I'm using right now are not out yet, but if you have the everything pack, you'll get it. And the coolest part about them, by the way, these are literally 10K. 10K quality. Look how far. Okay, there's a 4K document. Look at this, just look. Look at that quality. And what I'll end up doing is I'll take my brush, lower it down a little bit, because I do enjoy the darkness that's happening here, but I want to control where the light is kind of hitting for a little bit. So I'm going to kind of go over it once again and kind of play with it just like so. And just because I'm feeling kind of textury, like I just said, I want, I want to test these scan line textures that are also coming out very soon. I can definitely get behind that on color dodge, but I don't really enjoy this first line here. So I might erase that. And I'll just say leaving it right around here is pretty nice. Kind of makes this look pretty dope there. Let's do the same thing to this one right here. That's pretty nice. And just for the culture, just to end it off, combine all these layers together, do a nice little camera roll filter for the ending here. And what I'll probably end up finding is I'm gonna enjoy a lot more contrast all of a sudden when I actually play with this at the same exact time. 
something like this can be kind of nice but with that all being said i think i'm done with this poster honestly i this is not even the closest to the thing that i, I would have thought where it was gonna go i thought we we're gonna have some dude sitting on a basketball having some photos behind it but realistically this is pretty fun too the textures definitely helped as well and the glows definitely saved either way i hope you guys ended up enjoying and with that being said just let me know if you guys enjoy it or not actually don't tell me if you don't enjoy it but only tell me if you do enjoy it how about that but if you learned something you should also let me know that and with that so hq out so don't forget to keep smiling stay positive and stay freaking proto guys very much love peace and enjoy your day